This is an ABC News special report. Good day, I'm Elizabeth Vargas in New York and we're interrupting program to report the death of a true American hero. Legendary astronaut and later politician John Glenn has passed away at the age of 95. Glenn had been in failing health since suffering from a small stroke and he had been hospitalized in his home state of Ohio for more than a week. In 2012, Glenn was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom from President Obama, who noted that on the morning in 1962 that Glenn blasted into space, America stood still. ABC's David Wright has more on the incredible life of John Glenn. Godspeed, John Glenn. John Glenn later said as he hurtled through space that first time, one thought kept crossing his mind. that every part of this rocket was supplied by the lowest bidder. I guess I've looked at my whole life as being a sort of service to my country. But he also said there are times when you devote yourself to a higher cause than personal safety. The son of a plumber and a school teacher, Glenn was born and raised in Ohio, where he met and married his childhood sweetheart, Anne. In 1942, he quit college and enlisted, and as a highly decorated Marine Corps pilot, flew dozens of missions in the Pacific in World War II. In the Korean War, his co-pilot was Boston Red Sox legend Ted Williams. By the time he joined the space program in 1959, one of America's original astronauts, he was already a star. And he became the first American to orbit the Earth. He made three orbits and splashed down safely at the height of the Cold War and the space race where America was running behind, he was quite simply a national hero. In 1964, Glenn left the space program for politics. After two failed U.S. Senate bids, he finally won a seat in 1974, but he had his share of setbacks too, including a failed run for the presidency in 1984. Three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery with a crew of six astronaut heroes and one American legend. In 1998, 36 years after his first flight, he returned to space at age 77. He was still a sitting U.S. Senator. One thing I promised Annie the day we were married, uh, in addition to our wedding vows, of course, was that I would do everything I could to keep life from being boring. Boring his life was not. John Glenn was a pioneer and a public servant who put himself on the line time and again. Zero G and all is well, he said. For John Glenn and for the country he loved, it was an amazing ride. An amazing ride indeed. As David Wright just noted, Glenn had been married to his childhood sweetheart, Annie, for 73 years. They had two children and two grandsons. Glenn will be buried at Arlington National Cemetery. Once again, John Glenn, dead at the age of 95. We'll have full coverage, of course, later tonight on World News, as well as all the other news of the day. In the meantime, I'm Elizabeth Vargas in New York. Good day. This has been a special report from ABC News.